be here for a good time Hey, a good time guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is talam bibi and as always we bring you the best people in the business industry in the career industry and so today i have a guy by the name kevin gishuhi who decided to venture into business at a time where everyone was running away from it during the covid 19 pandemic so today i want kevin to tell us a little bit about his journey before he ventured into business uh, so kevin for the people who don't know you can you just tell them a brief about who you are who is kevin so my name is Kevin, I'm into the IT field, information technology, and uh, currently I run a cyber and uh, some other businesses. Okay, so before joining the cyber industry, of course, you went to high school and then campus, and then maybe somehow you found yourself here. So uh, when did you complete high school and when did you go to campus and which campus? So uh, high school, I uh, went to Komodain Boys, then uh, Mombasa Baptist. Then I joined uh, Mount Kenya University, uh, did IT, and uh, that's it. Okay, so Mount Kenya University, how was life like at Mount Kenya University? My campus life was full of learning, experience, and uh, I think it's the, the reason as to why I'm here. Kevin, tell us a little bit after campus because we know people have really stayed at home for so long because of a lack of jobs and all that. So how was that for you? Are you the lucky ones or how did it go? I was not the lucky one. Actually, after campus, I struggled a lot. I remember I used to go to one company to the another, uh, dropping applications. But the funny thing is that uh, in my department, they really employ a lot of people. So you find that in an IT department, uh, you find like four people in a whole company. So you really get the, and I really needed the IT experience. So it was hard for me to get uh, employment. So actually, even when I got employment, I first got it as an intern. And I worked as an intern for two years. So after two years, uh, that's when I decided now I think I really need to look for something else because I really wished the company to employ me but uh, they couldn't. So I had to look for something else. Uh, but they preferred to give me another job still in the company but in a different department. So I worked there for, for about four, four months then uh, COVID came in. Yeah. Okay, so to take you a little bit back, uh, how did you get this job? Did you just apply and you went for an interview and you called, or did you have the, what they call the Godfathers? How did you go about it? Like I've said, uh, I didn't apply for the job. I got it because I was an intern who had worked for long, for long years. Okay. About the internship, how did you get the internship? Oh, internship, I just applied. Uh, that's it, and uh, I got it. Uh, you knew no one? Absolutely no one? Uh, Honestly, because it's okay if you knew someone, because we understand it's Kenya. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. so if, if you're asking if I knew someone, I just knew someone who could take my papers there, mm -hmm. yeah, inside, because I had, I had struggled enough mm -hmm. to take my papers there. Yeah, so I got someone who can take the papers inside. That's it. Yeah. So from then, the interviews, all that, that was all you? Yeah. Okay. okay, so that was your first and only job. So after that, what was next? Uh, after that, that's when I decided to open a cyber cafe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so this cyber cafe, you opened it in 2020? Yes. Okay, so um, how can you tell us what capital did you, how much did you use to start it and where did you get this capital? Uh, this business took, uh, was about... Um, Two hundred thousand mm -hmm. uh, plus, but uh, it, it's because it it included a lot of uh, services. Because I didn't only come here to start a cyber cave, so I, had, I also do CCTV installation. So there were some packages. That's why, actually, it may it might have reached uh, two hundred and fifty. So where I got the money from, like I've told you. Uh, as an intern, I used to get paid. 
when they employed me, I also used to get paid. So, and I, uh, I used to save, save a lot. So that's where I got the money from. Um, can you tell us how much you used to earn per month in your previous company? Uh, as an intern, fifteen thousand. So that was your very first salary, like. Yes. Ah, fifteen. Okay, from fifteen thousand to here. Let's let's get to see how we got to here. So now we, you you have opened the cyber, and uh, during the COVID times when business is really tough, how was that for you? Oh, I didn't know what I was coming to face, but for me, I felt like I don't, I don't want to be employed. Like I struggled when I was an intern, so no, I, now I'm out of work. So I start the struggle again. Now I have to start my own business. So I knew there was challenges, but I had to start them. So that's uh, when I decided to open the cyber. But I didn't know the challenges, but I just decided to dip into it. Just decided to go deep into it. OK. So uh, before we go further into the business, can you tell us about the license? Like, how much was it? And what were some of the things you needed to get? So uh, yes, I needed a uh, business permit. Uh, to get a business permit costed about 10,000 and uh, needed to pay rent about also 10,000. So that's it, yeah. So you spent like 20,000 for license rent. Uh, rent, there was no deposit? Oh, rent, there was. Ah, okay, so 10,000 deposit, 10,000 rent. Okay. Okay, so I see uh, your business name is DigiCloud. Yes. Can you tell us where DigiCloud comes from? Where the inspiration came from? So DigiCloud, uh, these are two words. So one word is digital, and the other word is cloud. So digital is most related to computer and all that. And uh, when I, I'm running a business, and uh, it's an IT business, if you call it a, you have to relate it with uh, these uh, IT terms. So digital came from that. So I had to use the word digital. Cloud is, uh, clouds, nowadays you have something that is called uh, cloud storage and uh, I don't want only to work uh, into cyber only so I want to do something that involves uh, uh, cloud storage uh, so that's another project for another day maybe I'll explain to you one day okay so um, can you tell us a little bit of the challenges you faced in this business when I was starting uh, when I was starting First of all, I didn't have uh, some basic knowledge how to run a cyber. So I had to ask some of my cyber colleagues here and there. Well, it's not easy to ask them, but uh, you have to. So another challenge is the setup. That was my biggest one because uh, I, was, I actually got arrested. Yes. Wow, so how was that like? What was the case? Or what were you charged for exactly? I was never charged. I was uh, never... Actually, we didn't even go to the police station. They just they just arrest you. Uh, they tell you... So they said that I'm selling music, uh, which is a crime, which I didn't, uh, and I wasn't selling. And I'm saying it publicly. So they they put you in their car, take you around. Yes, they are police officers, but these these are setbacks. Yeah, and it costed me fifteen thousand shillings just to get out. Yes. So that was like uh, your competitors trying to bring you down. Or actually, actually yeah. I would not say it's my competitors. I would just say in in any business, uh, not everyone who is not not everybody is happy with your business. Uh, so I, would, I wouldn't say they are my competitors. They're just people who, that is their job, to do that. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, the cyber industry is uh, something people believe is going down uh, because we now have access to phones, to laptops. Like, if I want to scan something, I can use my phone. So how, what inspired you to come into a career, into a business that people are saying is soon going down? And what services do you offer that complement services that we can get from the comforts of our home? Yes, cyber business, we can, you can say it's going down, but when I consider what I do, uh, first of all, you have to be a go-getter when you, you are in this industry. So you have to capture your customer well, you have to treat them well. 
you have to even follow up on whatever you do. Yes. Okay, so what services do you offer apart from the normal photocopying, uh, printing, and uh, scanning, and uh, what else? And uh, typing, KRA, filing KRA returns, I know that. So apart from those ones, what else do you do? Okay, those are the basic. And uh, I also do passport application, uh, passport photos, NHF, NSSF, all those. Okay, and how can you say your business is different from any other cyber out here? Why, why would I come to DigiCloud and not the next cyber? Uh, like I've told you, what I do best, and I try to do it, is I like to uh, handle my clients. So I hold them and do a follow-up. I know what they're doing. I know, uh, I just, just following up. Yeah, and those clients, they are the ones who give me referrals. And those referrals, they're the ones who have built me. Yes. Okay, great. So what attributes can you say have kept you going in this business? Because sometimes business can be tough. Sometimes you want to give up. You feel like this is not bringing me anything. During those times, what keeps you going? Uh, I'm a prayerful man. I do pray a lot. Uh, I pray to God a lot. Uh, and another thing, I'm also very hardworking. Because I, uh, I also do... Uh, a lot of I work with students so these students student from uh, schools within this area yeah tell us one of your biggest lessons in business what you have learned that maybe you should do or not do uh, the biggest lesson I've learned in business is you have to be consistency in whatever you do the moment you stop another person will do it better than that. So you have to be consistent in whatever you're doing. And even better. So every day make sure you perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Can you now tell us um, for someone who is watching you, right, watching you or gets to watch this video and they want to know how much this business can make you. Because we all want to go into something that at the end of the day brings you something you can pay rent you can buy food so tell us a little bit profit margins per month oh uh, profit ma margin per month kai morathi mi verathi magena uri kweda